Well, we just finished the third of these four messages on godliness. This week we talked about the means to godliness, and that, that means the gym membership. He says to discipline yourself, that means you're going to have to make the decision that you want to get spiritually healthy. That means exercising your soul. And the way you do that is by practicing Jesus' presence all day in everything. Solidifying it with the Word of God and prayer. Biblical principles, spiritual truth, along with prayer and not the world's way of thinking. That means you're exercising all day long. That means you're growing your soul, which means godliness will be the natural eruption of that intimacy. Greater the intimacy, the greater the growth, but that must be exercised or worked out. Uh, get some partners, get in a small group and connect with other men, women, or couples who are exercising this program, who are doing uh, the uh, spiritual Zumba, <laughs> and uh, who are growing together so that uh, you can make sure you are growing in the will and the word of God and in spiritual intimacy. And godliness, you won't have to try to make it happen. It will naturally grow as your soul expands and as God's truth is being activated by bringing Jesus to bear all day long. Well, when you do that, uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, look forward to seeing your muscles grow spiritually, your victories enhance, and your blessings increase because you've put godliness ahead of blessing, and that becomes the basis of blessing. God bless you. Have a great week in the Lord. Look forward to being with you again next week.